Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Dark Foresight, God's Pride. Yeah, this all looks the same. Well, does it backstab? Probably backstabs. Charged flight. Ready. Charged flight. You also just see some big numbers. Oh, maybe I should have read it out loud for those curious. Hold special charge your throw for up to 200% base damage. It also bounces a little bit. Enter the abyss. Forgive me. But not too much. Oh. We'll be fine, right? Just a touch. Not too much. You actually don't really want it to bounce. Let's fight. Too much. Uh, that's why Dreadfight kind of sucks. Because it winds up just hanging out out there for too long. Am I disappointed that Zag is not the main character he's still? No. I'm relieved. Darkness. What, I want another another game where I have to play a Zag for... 3,000 hours here. Yo, know, there's always Hades one chat. Nearly got me. Well, there, it'll always be there. Ooh, the start. I, I want to learn more about other people, you know? I don't think there's much more we can tell about Zag at this point. Well, I'm sure there's more things that they can make up, but... Tell me about Mel. All right, this is looking pretty solid. Looks like a good spot. Now they like to go really deep in the story, so it's a it's it's a wise choice. Although I guess you could call it mildly risky to change protagonists. Oh right, we're Beowulf. Cause you get the epic gamers out there like, I don't wanna play as this girl. Where's Zagreus? Delicious. Zeus, you say. You blasted Doomstone then. Down, down, bum, bum, boom. Hmm. Really want that. What's up, Bright? What's up, Penguin? <laughs> Charged flight. Charged flight. Charged flight. Any other boons for me? Give me the call. Hey, sir. Cheers. Do, do, do. You get up. Damn. Hmm. Not yet. I should have taken the help there. Known call builder? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get hit enough to build the call. <laughs> should fetch me something. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Change my hat, you say? Ooh. I'll take it. That Caron business. A bit spicy, to be honest. Phew. That Caron business. A bit spicy. <laughs> Gotta get that drip on. Hmm. Huh. All the duo wrecks and functions, that seems impossible to me. I think I knew a long time ago. I mean, I, I mean, I slightly misremember 
every now and then, probably. But this must be here for me. Right. Probably wouldn't take it that long if you uh, consistently Sorry. play. And don't take big time, big pieces of time off before. Uh, in betwixt. Cyberfish. Um, sorry. Can we lose Dan? Nah, Flick. we're we're gooching. Did you hit the bastard? Oh God. It can backstab. I wasn't really positive about that. Eleven sixty six. It's spicy. Fighting Charon is uh, in Tyrus is pretty much always a mistake. Just in time. Death approaches. Thought I might. And here they come. There's a logic behind the duos that makes sense. Like there's a pattern basically to make it easier. It's a, it's just knowing the, the weird exceptions to the pattern that is hard to remember. I think. Like, two core boons usually equals the duo. Some of them are specific to certain casts, so you gotta remember that. And some of them have certain exclusions. Merciful End doesn't include Athena's dash. Sea Storm doesn't include Poseidon's dash for the prerequisites. I think that's the only hard part. Zero kills, Sam. Andrew. Well, that's terrible. It's me or them. How did you get so fast? Mirage doesn't include Artie Dash. That's, that. That's one I probably wouldn't have known off the top of my head. Oh. Oh. What a steal. Borrow. I guess we'll buy this. Should help keep me going. An ideal or take damage. Might be slightly better than Jolted. Might be. Yeah. I'm back. Your dash is, isn't included in a lot of RD duos. I guess it kind of makes sense because it's it's a it's one of the odder boons in the game, Hunter's Dash. At least at least when you compare it to other dashes, right? It doesn't really fit the bill. I'm trying to remember. I think Hunter's Dash used to be different in very very early access, but I can't totally remember now. I'm not positive. It is, at least it uh, makes it unique, right? Where'd the others go? At the very least. Hmm. for coin. What do we want now? I mean, there's like heart rend, but I don't know if we really care. Do we care? I mean, what else do we have to strive for? We should help. Not much, I guess. That's nice. Let's go up. Hunter dash go down Hestia rail. It can work. It's a. It's slightly tough to get a dash strike with Hestia. Oh yeah, smoldering. Yeah, you're right. That'd be a good one to get. Be there soon. So man. getting an Afro core boom would be nice. Only our boom that can't crit. Yeah, that probably makes sense. It probably allows you to get lightning rod. We just had a run where we got exit wounds despite using Sigi and Soul. For, so, for the longest time, I would have said that you can't get that with it. But I guess you can? Did something change? Wish I could... yeah, yeah. Guess we just take Hyper Sprint. Godspeed. You can. So it's just when the when it falls off. So I did like a full exit wounds run where our only source of damage was throwing a 
boonless cast and having them fall off and dealing exit wounds damage and it was horrible but maybe if i do it with stygian soul it won't be as horrible will it be cursed a gift it'll probably still be cursed i think i might have even died that run go this way the thing is i'd, I'd have to get multiple casts for it to be anywhere near better right Lots of coin there. Battle Rage is okay. Thank you, mate. Hmm. Not in love. As the interactive Poseidon Sword kind of just doesn't, I guess. Ow. I mean, it makes the cast fall off. And thus deal damage sooner, I guess. But I don't know how meaningful it would be. If you have exit wounds. If you don't have exit wounds, then there's really no point. Did I not med? I did not. Until I'd love to. So we'll go Pash Dash or the duos that we want. Onward. My favorite heat to play. Um there's no like favorite really. I like I do like playing with extreme measures four on, I'd say. After that, I mean, if I do, if I do like zero heat, it's it's, it's kind of dull, I guess. Thirty-two is like kind of okay, but then you have to start thinking about an optimal thirty-two heat run just to try to ensure that you win. Usually requires one approval process in my eyes. I mean, obviously you don't have to, but I think thirty-two without approval process one. This round fish. Might be slightly too spicy. And then if you are running any amount of approval process, it's a lot less fun. Hmm. Whoa. I have to Always weird how that works. Uh so we can't get duos. Uh oh, somebody's going to be upset. Fill a slot? We have Hunter's Mark already. It's either that or you roll for pressure points. I don't know, maybe that'll do something. Apologies, Lord Zeus. Do 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 Got to use the calls. No. Remember, we can't get a duo. I guess double strike for the longevity. Try to do this real quick. Exclusive access. Try. Greetings, Father. Call focus around which Let's gods would you have in the pool. Well, this is call is probably the best by quite a long shot. The science is fine. Dionysus is pretty good. Afros is terrible. Artis is pretty bad. Tina is probably don't want it for most runs. Demers is pretty bad. So there's like smoldering air. That's the only duo boon that really does anything that I can of think of. For calls, right? It's the only one I can think of, at least. Do 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 boom. Olympus, I accept what do you this got? message. Garbage. What do we have? Hyper sprint. Rush deliver your special speed. How about a different set of choices? All right, something. So, I guess, yeah, I guess Smoldering Air is a very good duo boon, especially since Zeus is in the pool, so you'd really only want his call. You wouldn't want Afro's call with it, that's for sure, right? So that that's a pretty strong combination, but that's about it. Dionysus is good, but you don't want other Dionysus boons that apply a hangover if you're going to take it. Flying 
wasted. Afro's call is just not really worth building up a full call for usually. It's too wonky. You often hit damage caps because of boss phases. A few other problems with it. A lot of times you might not even build up a full call. It doesn't work with smoldering air. Artemis is sort of in a similar boat. Bye for now, Lenny. But not as bad. At least it deals some damage, but it's not... Artemis call... It just doesn't feel like... You know, you're just tickling the bosses unless you shove a throat that a few bombs at it, really. Never takes my feet back. Hmm. Zath, what's up? Thank you for the two years. Flash from the pass on it. Yeah, that video that video's bumping. Bumping. What's up, Zath? Congrats on that Asterius badge. Did I buy my Xmas gifts yet? Yes, I have. I'm done, baby. It took me like 45 minutes on the day I just decided to do it. I'm that we're quick like that, you know what I mean? Poor wife, she's like she'll put things in a car and she'll um and ah and stuff like that. So I guess we do Zeus and try to force smoldering. This two years flew by, yeah. Oh, you gotta wrap up? Oh, I haven't wrapped anything. They haven't even arrived yet. The fields of Elysium. I'm pretty, I'm not great with the wrapping in the sense that Christmas Eve night at nine o'clock, it's like, well, better start wrapping. <laughs> and then someone lays down a beat and I uh, spit out some fat jams. No, I'm sorry, terrible joke. Explosive return or dread flight. So explosive return. Ugh. You think it's dread flight? Dread flight's like always bad though, I thought. That's a tough choice, is it? It's solid. Explosive return doesn't scale as well. I guess. I, I like explosive return. Well, in a sense, it does scale well, I guess. Since it's like a flat number that's quite high. 50 is surprisingly high. I always hate dread flight, so maybe this is the day that I can get dread flight to feel better. Whereas I've had, I, I've taken and I've liked explosive return many a time, I guess. So Dreadflight, you need to wow me, otherwise. Let's see, who suggested it? Museus gets timed out. Bright gets timed out. Uh let's see, anyone else? I don't know. I'll find a few other people to time out too. Tower of Olympus. Let's just keep getting bigger chunks, I guess. Uh, let's do Afro first here, since I'm wearing the Zeus keepsake, right? Since either one could give us smoldering air, you might as well take the one that you don't have the keepsake of. Hey Thor! You volunteer as a tribute? Put him on the list, Andy. Put Thor on there too while you're at it. Okay. Of Hades. Art run. One. Come on. Meg. Need help, Zach? Keep going. Ow. Ow. We need one big chunk with like heart run here. Love it, wait, that's it. Too bad with Beowulf, you can't fly boiling with blood. Hmm. Hey, deep water. Tell me Dreadflight isn't the best spoon you've ever taken. There's so many things wrong with that 
sentence. I don't think you roll for smoldering since it's a mini boss, right? You just take j j j, -j jolted? An epic jolted? I think. And you pray? I don't know. It's a little spicy. What are the odds of getting a duo boon in a mini boss room exactly? It's like not that high, right? Oh yeah, I already have double strike. Kind of forgot. Ten percent base, twelve percent normally. Ow. I'm dying over here. What hit me? It's been the shield, dude. Fifteen, seventeen. What strucketh of me? Battle Rage is still okay. Coming useful. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. In a mini boss slash six room, your chances of seeing it is 27.1% with God's Pride, 48% with God's Legacy. The, I guess my point. I guess my question leads to what's not the mini boss from Ray. I don't know, it's getting too, I'm probably getting too far into the weeds because I'm not going to retain any of this. Is there going to be a te test later, Musaeus? That one's regenerating. A palm of power. Hmm. Quick strike. Long spears. I'm kind of. I don't even know if charging is really always worth it now. Red flight's good with Beowulf, but probably nothing else. If you're doing something centered around the special, at least. You can kind of. You can see it doing work here, right? Olympus, I accept this message. I guess I kind of have a role, but is it even worth it just to try to shoot for pressure points? Well, these other ones are not good. Yeah, it's still not good. This is going to be incredibly bad if in most instances. That's just kind of a bad boon in general, usually. We'll go shopping. This is it. Oh, this is it. Something else. It was not it, as it turns out. It's garbage. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Mysterious. Thesis. Support fire is better than hunter instinct for building a call. Wow. Now there's a statistic. I wouldn't have guessed. Everyone loves support fire. At least it's not like overrated. It might be slightly overrated by some still. It's hard to dislike support fire. That's one champion unseated. Enjoy the rest of your existence, Shades. All right, now show me. Nope, what are they showing me? There, I feel like I might want something defensive here. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Hmm. It's nice to take when there's nothing else you need from Artie. That's any boon. But that's any boon. <laughs> I guess it's better than zero, but. <laughs> I can wash away my boons. 
Uh, Should be handy. Worst boons from each god. To the top. A lot of the call building ones are pretty rough. Sunken treasure. Actually, I'd, I'd almost value sunken treasure above uh, bounty. Maybe. Maybe. The Z, the Z, the Z, the Z, the Z. Here's the fee. I think I need to wait to buy that in order for life affirmation to affect it. Alright, the Z, the Z, the Z. Boiling point, good. Fishing legendary. I guess we probably wouldn't really count that one. Can't do that. Since it's meant to be goofy, right? Athena's is. Is it sure footing? What's the call one from Athena? I kind of forget. Oh, proud bearing. Proud bearing does. I don't think it's that bad. Zeus's worst one. Is it reflexes? Huh. It's not that bad, but you gotta something has to be the worst. Clouded judgment. Yeah, that's the call building one from Zeus. It's probably the worst. Are you kidding me? Oh, storm lightning. Yes, it's got to be storm lightning. You're right. Totally forgot about storm. Yeah. That's how bad it is. You just totally forget about it. It's gotta be Storm Lightning. Same with High Voltage. High Voltage sucks too. I forgot all the, about all these bad boons. Artemis's, we already know is Hunter's Instinct. Uh, Demeter's worst boon, just all of them. <laughs> Got it. Well, I am victorious. Nurse Soul is very finicky. It's pretty bad. You can't sell it. It doesn't work at high heat very well. It's pretty rough. The crop. The crop can be bad a lot of the times. I don't know. Afro Demeter Duo. Oh, what's it called? I haven't done that build in so long. We should revisit it. Enough to eat. Why not? Is it is today the day? I already forgot the cold embrace. Yeah. Maybe I should check the other path. We got sack, right? Let's do one more to try to get smoldering. Honestly, cold embrace is probably worse than most of the regular boons. Frozen touch is a pretty bad boon too. Afro's worst boon. She's got a lot of bad ones. You got, um, make weak last longer, and you got... That one's pretty bad. And then you got the one that makes it so weak works better. That one's... It's probably make weak last longer, but also her legendary is pretty terrible, too. Mistral Dash is just a bad boon overall. That's for sure. Afro Dash too, is too, for the most part. Dionysus? God, where do you start? It has to be. Oh my god, we didn't get it. Oh my god. I didn't think it would be possible to not get it. Thunder and lightning. Dio. Want something to eat, boy? Huh? Always a pleasure, Charon. Uh, bad influence is pretty bad. After party's terrible. Bad influence isn't the worst, I guess. But uh, peer pressure has to be the worst one, right? Peer pressure has to be the worst. Like it's still bug too, right? Or it doesn't really work. 
It actually is bugged in a positive way or something, I slightly, maybe. It's so bad, though. I don't understand it. Oh, hi, father. You also got the one where you take Test of Fog, I think. Desk. Or no. I suppose the work can wait. You take less damage in Festive Fog. I forget what's called. High Tolerance. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. Meg, help. You are embarrassing me, Zach. In uh, Early Access, uh, Trippy Shot had three duo boosts around it very briefly. So you had Ice Wine, you had a Scintillating Feast, and you had an Athena Dionysus one. I don't remember the name of it, but. Essentially, if you stood in festive fog, it would reflect shit or something. It was pretty bad. We're like, what the hell? Where are the other duo boot? Like, what about the other casts of me? Or what's going on? It sounds sick. It's just, it was too wonky. What do we get in return? I can't even remember. 2368. Oh, calculated risk? I don't know what would be worse. It's just not worth it. Like, you wouldn't make a build around it. You wouldn't want to force it. I mean, sure, if it's there and everything else is garbage, I guess you're taking it. But it's just not worth it. Ah. Uh, don't have to do this, boy. Bow. Having bad options is part of the balance. It's true. That's how I make my living. Super Giant Games gives you a lot of bad boons and hammers to choose from, right? And you're not gonna know which ones to pick unless you Google how to win with Gilgamesh Fists on YouTube or something like that. And that's where I'll be. Keep leaving those bad those bad options in there for me, please. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> if everything was good, how I, what am I gonna do? Do, 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 do. Rank the Legos. Some of them are pretty rough. His name. Big Shopping Trip 2. So tired of that title. Give me that. Charge Flight's already on there. We never got Smoldering Air because I am never lucky. All the other Hades players, very lucky, but not me. Uh, there was one more thing. I guess I'll throw a Heart Run down there. There you go. Thank you.